Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so this image was actually shot in 2015. I used the Nikon D5300 with the Tamron 70-200 lens. I believe that this was one of my best um, work in 2015. So I want to edit this image to show you guys right now. Alright, so uh, I'm going to put in the description the makeup artist and also the model's uh, profile, uh, Instagram profile. All right, so this image was, um, all right, to light this image, I used this bulb here. I went to the light store and I purchased this bulb, circular bulb, and behind the model is a flash to light the, the background. Um, the background is basically a cloth, a pink cloth, and I just, you know, put the flash there to light it up. So the only light I was using is the um, the flash in the back to light up the background and the bulb to light her face all right so the first thing I'm going to do is to crop this image I'm going to crop it to the size um, it's going to be the ratio four to five that's um, eight by ten ratio so once I upload it to Instagram it will just you know fill the entire page all right so that's all right. I'm coming on a little bit more right here, right there. Good. All right. I'm going to pull this down a little bit, maybe about right. You know what? No, I'm gonna leave it. Maybe about right here. All right. Good. So I'm going to first this panel. I'm gonna put a link. Sorry, I'm gonna put a link in the description for you to download this panel. Uh, not this version, the older version, but it does the same thing. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to, uh, well, let me see if I'm in, if I can actually edit in 16-bit. All right, so I'm going to edit in 16-bit, and then I'm going to go over to my frequency separation um, option. Click on 16-bit. I'm going to let the radius stay at uh, 6.4. All right, good. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go for my mixer brush. Um, ensure that the mixer brush um, and make sure it's at, the wet is at 1%. Everything else can be the same. All right, you're going to go down to the low frequency separation layer. And then I'm going to uh, paint on the image. All right. I'm trying to scroll, but it's not scrolling. Oh, because it's selected here. All right, good. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work in the light areas. So when you're using the mixer brush, ensure that in the light areas you mix, and then when you finish mixing the white area, you mix in the dark area. So you're not going to go back and forth like this. All right, so I'm going to do it now. So dark area, you should take your time and mix it because if you rush it, you won't get a good mixing. All right, so I'm working on the dark areas now. I'm working on the light areas as well. But remember, try not to mix them together. Don't mix the dark with the bright. It will not look good at all. All right, so I'm going to go with the light area now, dark area. The mixer brush is golden. The mixer brush is the best thing I've ever used when it comes to retouching. I remember um, in the past when I'm doing frequency separation, I normally blur the image and honestly I wasn't really comfortable with that process until I found a video on YouTube, you know, that talks about using the mixer brush. And all I did was just to practice and finally I have an understanding of how to use a mixer brush. And the mixer brush works perfectly for the skin. You should be careful, though, of you know the amount of uh, mixing you put at a certain place because it will get the image flat. Before, oh, wait. Oh. Before, after. So to do to do the before and after, what you do, you put your mouse right here at the eye, and then you're gonna hold on on Alt on your keyboard and then click to give you the before and after. Before and after. Good. All right, I'm gonna work right here if you look on the skin you can see that it's not even I'm gonna work on that as well 
we mix the light area of the neck. All right, mix right here as well. Dark areas. And the chin. All right, good. So let's look at the before and after. Before and after, good. So I'm gonna mix right under the nose right here. All right. Alright, good. So I'm going to clean up the image now. So I'm going to go to the high frequency layer and then I'm going to go for my stamp tool. Alright, to resize it, sorry, to resize it, you can use the bracket key. It's right next to P and the enter key. Um, you can use the left and right bracket to um, get the uh, brush bigger than what it is. Alright, so what I'm going to do now. This is a part of her, uh, I think this is a mole, I'm not going to take that one out, but I want to take this one out. So I'm going to sample um, the skin by holding on an alt, sample, and then paint. Alright, you have to, sometimes you have to lower the flow. So I'm going to lower my flow a little bit, and then I'm going to sample and paint. Sample. Sample and brush. <laughs> All right. Um, this one as well. This one here. This is a mole. All right. It's always best to zoom um, as close as possible to the pimples to get rid of them because you want to ensure that it's clean and then some you zoom back out sometimes to see you know what you're doing and how it looks this model has great skin you know so we do not have to do a lot of um, cleaning up alright uh, spot right here good all right so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna try to fix um, the the color right here I believe this happens because of the light that is shining right here I want here to look like here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my um, correcting tone um, layer right here I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna try two things I'm going to sample this area by holding on an alt and then click right here and then I'm going to lower the flow to about uh, three and then I'm going to paint right here and see if it, it gives me the same effect looks close enough let me see look yeah it looks close enough all right, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to try something else. So I'm going to I'm going to try using color. I'm on the same layer right here, so I'm going to uh, change it to color. I'm going to sample it right here. And then I'm going to keep my flow at 3 and I'm going to paint right here and see if it gives me a better result. I think this is better. Not sure if you can see it, but it looks close to what's up here. Um, because your your flow is at three percent, you may have to go over it a few times for you to get the color that you want, or to get the color matching. All right. It may not be perfect, but you want to get it as close as possible. All right, that looks good to me. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks good. Kind of have a little patch right here, but it won't kill the image, I'm sure. All right, so I'm blending it out. Now I'm just going over that section. All right, good. So that's it so far. Let me see. 
I'm going to do a little dodge and burning now. So I'm just going to close this um, group and I'm going to go over to my burn and dodge. I'm going to start working on my burn layer. So I'm going to, um, the brush flow is at 3%. Now I'm just going to put it at 2. And then I'm going to work on the, I'm just going to shape the model's face now. So the contouring, my favorite thing. All right. Um, don't want to go too dark, but I don't think it would be a problem if I have a dramatic contouring right now because the model, you know, it will give it a, a certain look, I believe. So, so what I'm doing basically is just to follow, you know, what was already there. The dark areas, paint it, I burn it, the light areas, I, um, I dodge it. So go dodge right now. So let me just dodge this right here, here. here as well normally you would um, dodge right here because you want here to be brighter but because of where the light is shining now I have to just work with what I see all right good so that's it so far I'm just gonna burn there a little bit all right let's look at the before and after now so before, after, before, after. Maybe I could burn here a little bit. Well, not burn, but dodge here a little bit. Before and after. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is to clean the eye. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna create a new layer. Wait, I'm going to create a new um, frequency separation layer. And I'm going to work on the high frequency layer. The high, yeah, high frequency layer. I'm going to get my stamp tool again. I'm going to put it at 100%. And I'm going to clean right here. before and after before after I'm gonna clean this one as well sometimes when cleaning the eyes you do not want it to look too perfect so you just clean some of the distracting stuff from the eyes and that's it nothing else all right that should be good um, I'm gonna try to whiten the eye a little bit so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a smile the magic smile you would actually use the magic eyes, but I don't want to use that. I like the result from the magic eyes. All right, that's too low. Put it hundred percent. All right, so that looks good. All right. So, the next thing now is to, let me see, I think I might clean right here, go back to the high frequency layer, and then I'm going to go to my stamp tool again, I'm going to clean right here, alright, let me see, okay. Looks okay. Um, all right, good. So that's it so far. What else to do now? Hmm. Don't think there's much to do right now. I think um, I believe that's it right now. But let me just clean right here a little bit. 
All right, so I want to clean under the eyebrows as well. All right, looks good. Go over this side. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so let's look at the before and after again. So before, after, before, after. All right, so I'm going to save this image for Instagram. I don't think there's anything um, much to do on this image right now. Mm, yeah, I think I'm okay with what I have so far. So I'm going to save this image uh, for Instagram. So what you're going to do now, what I suggest that you do is to flatten the entire image. Then you're going to go to, well, you use this shortcut. We're going to save for the web. So you're going to hold on on control, alt, shift, S. It brings up this little, um, this little box for you to save for the web. And what you're going to save this as is, let me see, one, zero one eight right so this is for instagram you do not want to save it as a full size and then upload it to instagram you'll have you will not have the full quality of your image i'm going to save this to my desktop and then i'm going to pull it up right so that's for instagram and if you have a website you can also upload it at this size as well Alright, so that's it for the video, guys. Um, I hope this one was easy to follow, quick. If you have any questions, please, you know, send me an email at andredesigns at gmail.com. Or you can just leave a comment under the, um, the video and I'll respond with any questions that you have. Any video that you let me to do, you can just, you know, tell me and I'll just create a video for that. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and share. Have a good day.